Hey guys, what's going on? It's Carl here back with another episode checking out another tech travel bag guide which you can see over on the side there on the table. I feel like I've been doing a lot of these episodes as I happen to be traveling quite a bit. I'm actually heading out to the west coast in two weeks and with me I'm bringing a lot of games because I won't lie, I've been playing a ton of Nintendo Switch, so this has in fact inspired this very episode all about the gaming setups that I'll be bringing over to occupy me throughout some of my downtime. Before we get into those details, I did promise from my last tech travel bag guide that I would be giving away an Air SF pack, and I am following through, congrats to Ben Lynch. I will be sending out your very own Air SF pack, so just hit me up with a quick email, we'll swap some info, and one of those will be shipped out right after I'm done this episode, so congrats. And to keep the giveaway goodness going on in the channel as I try to hook all of you up with something, I guess, from every episode, you can win, I'm thinking, a game of your choice for the console of your choice, whether it be Xbox, the Nintendo Switch, 3DS, a mobile game, kind of whatever game you're really interested in. Just make sure you leave a comment down below on the game that you're hoping to win, no matter what console it is, no matter where you'll play it, even if you're kicking back in your own studio, living room, wherever you play games. Let me know. And just like today, I will announce it on the next episode of the Ultimate Tech Travel Bag Guide, so make sure you stay posted. That was a whirlwind. Let's go look at what we're bringing along in our pack. So, as I mentioned, today is all about the games, and I won't even lie, I have been playing so much Nintendo Switch lately, it's almost been unhealthy, the latest Zelda Breath of the Wild. This is the main reason why I haven't been pushing out a lot of content lately, I have been sucked into this game. As many of you know, you can see by the artwork, I am the biggest Zelda fan, and this is maybe one of my favorite Zelda games to date. Might even compare to the good old days of Majora's Mask, Ocarina of Time. Even if you're not a Zelda fan, I can almost guarantee you will love this game. The entire experience on the Switch has just been so refreshing from any system that I've played maybe in the past five, six, seven years. I've been finding that the Switch has hit me in a spot which is perfect for my lifestyle now, as I don't have enough time to play over on my console. I find most of my time or gaming is spent on my mobile device, maybe on the 3DS XL, but that even feels dated. This has filled that gap, that void. God heard me. God has answered my prayers and I'm not even religious. I won't spoil too much and I'll save my full thoughts for my entire review, so make sure you stay posted, but you can kind of see that I'm teasing. I love it because it's so awesome. With a Switch, I did grab two games. I won't even lie, I haven't even touched this. I've been exclusively playing Zelda Breath of the Wild. You'll see in the rest of this video how much of a Zelda nerd I am. Switching a few gears, but keeping in the Nintendo realm, as I mentioned, I used to bring my 3DS XL when I had a bit more time. In it probably lives the game that all of you know is my favorite, Majora's Mask. So with a 3DS XL, you can see that these are all Nintendo exclusives. We've got some Super Smash Bros. Link Between Worlds, which is the combo to the actual console that I got, and Ocarina of Time. I can play any of these games. If I was trapped on an island, I would bring these. Just play them over and over and probably over again. Okay, enough of the Nintendo talk, switching gears a bit into mobile gaming, which is probably what most users will find themselves playing, whether it's a five minute commute, a 10 hour flight, or any time that you have to spare we probably rocked an app on one of these devices. You can download most games across both OS's, and I've been finding myself playing a lot of tower defense games, something simple, something that doesn't require too much time, but are still fun. Let me know your favorite game, and I do host a monthly session of what's on my iPhone, and soon to be what's on my Android, that I usually highlight the games that I like to play of that month, my last one of March. That's right, linked up here. Switching on over to the PC life, and I know this doesn't compare to custom gaming rigs that people build at home, currently trying to build my own for that third monitor, but I do rock the Surface Pro, and from here I do play a couple games of StarCraft, some Rocket League, 
I won't lie that this is the system that I've been suffering on the most when it comes to gaming. And last but not least, I will include a console. And I don't regularly travel with my Xbox or PlayStation. I've only in fact done that once before and that was actually for a tournament back when I was in high school. That's how much I was into gaming and I sadly don't do that as much anymore. Most of my console gaming occurs here in the studio. I've been playing a lot of Dead Rising, some Battlefield 1, and soon to be Mass Effect Andromeda. Was really into the original Mass Effect series. Let me know what I guess your favorite console game is. And all of that gaming goodness can essentially fit into any pack just like this one from Air SF, but I won't go into too many details about the packs in this episode as I really wanted to focus on the gaming aspect. I know this one was a bit different as I don't go too in depth into gaming as it isn't really my area of expertise, but if you wanna win a game of your choice, just make sure you leave it down below in the comments. And of course the associated console and in the next tech travel bag guide, I will announce the winner. I'll catch you guys in hopefully my next episode or one of my vlogs. Peace.